Hey y'all, today we're going to make some beach ball cookies, so let's get to baking and decorating. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. So the first step, you're going to get some piping consistency, so nice and thick, and you're going to do the outline of your beach ball. So I want to do different sections of my beach ball, so first I'm outlining the circle, and then I have that little circle in the middle to give me a starting point of where the center of the beach ball kind of is and then from there I'm going to outline the different colored sections that I'm going to have and then I'm going to um, go back and put the little squiggly lines in for the color that I'm going to do so here I'm just doing squiggles so that way when I go and do my colors um, they will be nice and thick and puffy and there will be no craters now I'm, I'm adding in the flood consistency yellow for my layer, my yellow sections. So I did that so they can be spread out and then I'll put it in the dehydrator for about 15 minutes. Next you're going to pick your next color that you're going to flood in and I'm doing pink now. So I'm doing my pink in one side and then I'm going to do my pink on the other side put it in the dehydrator for about 15 minutes. Now you're going to pick your last color that you're going to do and I have a minty green here and I'm flooding in the green sections and then I'm going to pop that in the hydrator again and then the last thing for flood is going to be that nice center circle we're going to come back and do together and I do that last so that way it's nice and puffy and on top so it really does not sink down in and it really stands out against the other layers. After the center has dried, I'm going to go back in with a thick piping consistency and I'm doing blue and I'm going to outline in between my layers here so they really stand out and you can tell where each layer starts and stops and it just makes it look more like a defined beach ball. And there we go, we're all done with that cookie. 